Bulgaria. At the moment, I live in town of Roslo. Yeah. And I'm dealing with some happy volunteers <laughs> at the moment, uh, organizing activities. I, mean, I think there is a lot of opportunities, including Erasmus programs for the young people, so they can develop more from young age. Like today, we went to one school, we spoke with children which were 17 years old, and they said that from 13 years old, you can start going around. Europe and do EBS projects, so this is a very good opportunity for everyone. You can always find an opportunity, that's the good thing about being part of the union, so you can always find a job anywhere you want, so if you're a person that is searching, that is interested, that is, you know, person looking for knowledge and for work, you can always find, it just depends from you. At university we were able to go for another university like exchange so you can learn uh, more like difficult, uh, not difficult but different kind of um, subjects uh, in English you can improve your English and develop yourself more in the university that's how they helped us. Uh, one person told me that uh, when he visited Sofia years ago, he saw these beautiful houses, brand new and these falling apart houses and he saw these brand new Porsche cars and next to it the horse riding car. So that's in general what people think. Other people think that it's very pretty, calm and nice. And actually for the Bulgarian media, I think there is a, a lot of for example, at the moment there is uh, one case happening with one missing person, so one of the media is choosing to have wrong information and another one to, to get the right information, so I think for people should always know which newspaper and which media to believe in because some of them are just lying to you. I think we can I think